Hi, I'm David Soper. I'm one of the technical marketing engineers supporting Cisco Intersight. Today I will provide a demo overview of creating accounts and managing devices in Intersight and some other common management operations. To create an account in Intersight, you will need to visit intersight.com and on the main page of intersight.com you will see a link to the help menus and from here you can get a lot of additional information on creating accounts in Intersight, claiming devices, and other links for help. From the Intersight.com help page, I can check the current status of the Intersight services. And here I see that all my services are operational. And I can navigate to get support or visit the communities.cisco.com pages for Intersight. Back at intersight.com, we can log in with our cisco.com ID. And if we have not created an account yet, we can select create account, and then we will be taken to a license agreement. And if that is accepted, we have the option to claim a device to create an account. Device claiming is needed to tie a device back into the intersight account. And for device claim information, we will need to navigate to the device and pick up a device ID and claim code. In this example, I will walk through device claiming of a HyperFlex cluster. I will launch the HyperFlex Connect UI. And under the settings menu of HyperFlex Connect is a cloud management menu. And this provides information on the current connection to Intersight. Within the device connector, I can get additional information on what's required for connecting to Intersight, and that is a route to the Intersight portal on HTTPS port. If needed, a proxy can be set up to enable HTTPS access to Intersight.com, and in my lab environment, I do need to set up a proxy. Once I've set up that proxy, the Intersight device connector will again attempt to establish a connection. And if the connection is successful, I get a claim code. And at this point, I am ready to claim my device in Intersight. Navigating back to Intersight.com, I can enter the device ID and switch back and grab the claim code and go ahead with the claim. On successful account creation, I get a URL that is prefixed with a 16-digit account ID. This account ID is unique to an Intersight account. It can be used by the account owner who initially created the account and claimed the first device in the account, or it can be used by any other users of the account that can be added later. At this point, I will go ahead with the login to Intersight and the Intersight user interface launches. Intersight features online guided help for many common operations and a site tour. Here I'll start that site tour and this will walk me through the Intersight user interface. The guided help provides a walkthrough of common operations and allows the user to click on menus and actually perform operations while the guided help is active. In this case, I will navigate through the main dashboard the servers page showing a summary of all servers connected back in. Those are both standalone servers and UCS managed B and C series. Information on HyperFlex clusters is available. Fabric interconnects and the UCS manager instances running in those. And the devices menu contains a consolidated view of all connected devices and the ability to perform operations such as device delete or claiming of additional devices. Along the top menu, we have an alarms view that brings together the alarms, both critical and warning of all connected devices, and the ability to drill down and get more information, including detailed descriptions of all those faults. There's a powerful search capability, which can be used across any of the menus this is a global index search across the top level inventories of all connected devices, including alarms. And I can search for a specific alarm and pull that up from the main search menu. 
The settings menu provides user management and information on performed actions. The help menu provides guided tours of common management operations along with the place to submit feedback that goes straight back to the development team. The account menu shows the current account and allows customization of theme colors, languages, etc. To finish out the tour, there's a little more information on where to go for more help. To finish out, we'll start back on the dashboard and navigate to the settings menu and license tab and view the current licensing, which is our base license. Intersight has launched with a base license tier that is free and requires no additional activation and provides all the features I've gone through in the tour and element cross launch, which I'll demo in just a minute. Coming soon is an Essentials version of the license, which brings in all the base capabilities, plus additional management features such as virtual KVM launch and several server actions for standalone C-Series servers, including a policy framework, detailed inventory and actions such as power reboot and firmware management. Now I'll demo the last feature mentioned on that base licensing tier, which is management cross-launch. Navigating to the Devices tab, I can select one of my connected devices, click on the Actions button, and launch UCS Manager. And after a few seconds, my UCS Manager interface launches from within Intersight. No local access or credentials required, and I can perform the typical administrator actions I would perform within UCS Manager, including service profile creation or update. That concludes today's demo of Cisco Intersight. Look for additional information coming soon, and be sure and visit the following websites. Thank you.